With early voting beginning tomorrow, Wisconsin educators from all around the state gathered at the state capitol tonight. McKenna Alexander shares why they're rallying together ahead of the midterm election. Yeah, teachers, administrators, and students from all across the Badger State came together for a Unity in the Community rally this evening. It was all part of an effort to push people toward the polls this election to bring change to Wisconsin's education system. Monday night's rally at the Capitol focused on fairly funded public education as attendees stressed how critical it is for voters to continue electing politicians that support positive futures for Wisconsin students. Public education is a source of solutions to problems. It's an energy for opportunity. It's essential for the future of Wisconsin's kids, and it's a cornerstone for all Wisconsin communities. Part of the rally included speakers from administrators, educators, and students from all across the state. One of the biggest concerns expressed during the rally is a lack of increased education funding from the state legislature. If we simply maintained the 1993 le level of public funding and did nothing else, we'd have another $30 billion in our schools in our state's economic prosperity. That's $30 billion. Across Wisconsin, the highest number of school referendums since 2001 has taken place, with 166 already this year. That includes the 81 referendums on the upcoming November ballot. With funding now falling on the shoulders of taxpayers, activists say this midterm election is critical for the future of Wisconsin students. If things keep going the way they are, research tells us that Wisconsin will be short 130,000 people for available jobs by 2030, just eight years from now. We can prevent this problem from getting bigger if we call, can call on our business leaders and political leaders to invest in public K-12 education. Rally attendees urging action while also offering hope to supporters that it's not too late for them to make a difference. We can't undo the past, but we can change the narrative of why we're here today. And we can start a new conversation about what's happening here in the state of Wisconsin. For more information on how to vote in the upcoming November election, just visit myvote.wi.gov.